The only three important measurements for a Hertzberg profile are as follows. Right on the fold line is five thousandths of an inch. This is the same as between 0.12 and 0.14 millimeters. Half inch back from the fold is 24 thousandths of an inch, which is the same as between 0.58 and 0.62 millimeters. And just in front of the bark, but still on the blade, is between 36 and 38 thousandths of an inch. This is the same as between 0.91 and 0.96 millimeters. These measurements allow the cane to be as thin as possible to reduce scraping time and errors, but still accommodate different hardnesses of cane because good reeds can be made from both hard and soft cane. Any profiler will work as long as it is set up to provide continuous tapers from collar to tip and spine to rails. And there should be no pre-carved channels or windows to interrupt the line of the taper. Prepare your piece of cane for profiling by sanding the underside with 220 grit sandpaper. If you do this step after profiling, or even after the reed is clipped in between the blades, you're effectively thinning the profile, and this can be really problematic at the tip where it's already thin. So it might not be necessary on that reed, so we'll do this step first. I'm replacing any markings I might have on the reed and also highlighting the areas where my marking cutters have uh, made these little circles so it's easier to put on the profile. Now we're going to soak our cane. Soak your cane until it is fully hydrated. You can see that it is darkened all the way to the tip or the end of the reed on both sides. That means the vascular bundles are nice and full of water. Loosen the clamps and center the reed over the barrel. I have a line etched into the middle that I need to line up my reed. With this kind of profiler, most people profile first and then shape to be absolutely certain that they have that center line lined up. Okay, tighten those clamps down and there we go. Notice I'm not cutting all the way down on my first pass because the blade will ride up on the other side and start leaving a huge chunk of cane here. So we are going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, rotating the cam. Every time I turn around the cane cam, I also clean out the shavings from the blade to keep it um, un unobstructed so that it makes a nice clean cut on my next pass. If the cane shavings are very stuck, then I use tweezers to remove them.
on the last few passes, I'm really pushing firmly down. However, I'm not slamming the cutting block onto the cam. I don't want to split that piece of cane, but I do need to push very firmly to make sure that I'm getting a really even profile across. Take off the marking pins, marking clamps. And there's your piece of cane. A Hertzberg profiler operates on much the same principle. Got the cane clamps, this is the cane barrel, except I'm going to be able to line up these holes that were made by the marking pins on my shaper with the marking pins on my profile. Nice and tight. And you can see that's difficult to see, but there's a line drawn on the cane cam, cane barrel, and this is nicely lined up with that line, so I know that it's centered properly. I'm going to tighten my clamps a little bit, just a little turn. This is a double barrel profiler, which means that the cane is on one barrel, and there's a pattern etched into this barrel, and they are tied together. So as you turn the barrel, the blade follows the pattern and etches it into the cane. Again, I'm cutting only a little bit at a time. Not trying to cut all the way down on one side all at once. When you are done profiling, fold the reed in half. Make sure that the collars are evenly aligned. And mark the base of the reed at 2 and 5 sixteenths of an inch.
This is just a rose trimmer. Pruner. Trim the ends evenly. Then open up the reed and score the bark over an easel. You can use a knife or an exacto blade. I use a tap and die from the hardware store. Now it is ready to let dry or make into a mummy.